Do you want to know what the best type of revenge is? I'm going to tell you the best type of revenge is in life. I swear by this. This always works. The best type of revenge in life is genuinely moving on, not giving a shit anymore about that person or that experience from the past and genuinely focus on being happy. That's it. That is the secret formula, okay? Do you know how crazy it drives people to see somebody else that they used to have power over not care anymore? To see somebody else that they used to hurt, that they used to walk all over, be unbreakable? That is the real revenge in life. Stop trying to seek them to see your worth, to see your value, to approve of you. They're never going to do it that way because you're coming from this desperate energy of like, I need to prove myself. I need you to see my worth. But do you know what that says to other people? It says that you don't see your worth at all. Let me tell you something. The law of attraction never lies. The type of energy that you put out into the world will come back to you tenfold. If you're putting out this energy of like, I need to seek revenge, da da da, they need to pay, that energy, sorry, I hit my cup, that energy is going to come back to you. But if you are in this new energy of like, I'm focusing all my time, all my energy, I'm investing all my power back into me, back into my self-love, back into my happiness, then you will start attracting things and people that confirm that belief system. Karma never, ever, 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 ever misses an address, okay? If you are putting out this energy into the world of malicious intentions, you're jealous, you're trying to hurt somebody else, you will sit in a banquet of consequences. That's just how life works. Maybe not right away, maybe not immediately, but that energy is gonna come back to you. Do you wanna know why? It's because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. The energy that you put out into the world is gonna come back to you like a parachute. And so what you need to do right now, wherever you are in your life, you need to shift your energy and you need to be in this energy of power, of self-love, of self-respect and self-worth. And that is the best form of revenge, my friends. It's telling yourself, okay, I'm finally ready to release this. I'm finally ready to move on and not let this person or this thing have any power over me anymore. You have walked a long route to giving this thing or this person power over you. That's enough. It's over. You need to stand tall. You need to raise your head. You need to not let your crown fall and realize who the fuck you are. And who you are is somebody that deserves happiness, that is worthy of love, of joy, of abundance. And that is the type of energy that you need to embody. Something that I always tell people is in order to move on from a situation in your life and in order to claim back your power from that situation, you have to be willing to keep looking forward. You go out into the street, okay? You're walking around. Do you see people walking backwards? Do you see people walking like, no. It doesn't happen. People are walking forward. And that is exactly what you need to start doing too. You need to start walking forward. Only forward. The only path is forward, okay? People come into your life for three reasons. They're either coming in for a season, a reason, or a lifetime. And when you can start being able to tell why this person walked into your life, are they for there for a season, a reason, or a lifetime, you will attain such a deep sense of peace when you realize that there was a purpose behind the thing that you have experienced with that person. You need to pour all your energy into you. That is the best form of revenge by far is genuinely leveling up and shifting your life. When you start doing this, you genuinely become unbreakable. Nobody can take anything away from you. It's done. They do not have power over you. That is the best revenge. When somebody realizes that they just have no power over you and over your life anymore. Your thoughts, I know when you're seeking revenge or you're hurt by someone, your thoughts, your monkey mind tends to bring up all this chatter of like, they hurt me, they wounded me, da da da. They don't understand my worth, da da da. And you're just going down this you know, narrative of why this person hurt you. And every time you're doing that, you're bringing power to that person and to that energy between you guys. When you are meeting a person, you form an energetic cord with them. And so the best thing to do in order to move on with your life and to seek revenge is to cut the energy cord. And how do you do that? Through meditation. You sit with yourself, you, you either doing like a guided meditation, there's a bunch on YouTube, or you're genuinely sitting with yourself. And I want you to imagine you standing in front of that other person, you're seeing a string, like an energy cord between you guys, and you see yourself physically cutting that cord, physically releasing that cord. And you might have to do this a couple of times. You might have to do the energy cord releasing 
a couple of times until you genuinely cut the cord especially like it depends on this person if this person was somebody that was in your life for a very long time had a big emotional impact on you you're gonna have to cut the cord a couple of times but every single morning or every single night show up to that space for five minutes with your meditation and envision yourself cutting the cord when you cut the cord you're cutting also the power between you guys and they're no longer powerful over you. And you start moving on with your life. You start being happy, genuinely happy. You start doing things that bring you joy, that make you feel inspired, that make you feel creative, that make you feel beautiful. You start pouring that energy into you. All the energy that you used to pour into that person or that you wanted to pour into that person so that they come back into your life, that they seek revenge, da da da. I want you to pour it into you now. Because what's meant for you will never pass you by. And whatever happened with that person, there was some purpose or reason or lesson behind it. And maybe you do not understand it right now, but I am telling you that every single person in my life that genuinely hurt me, that there was a very hard emotional upheaval with them, I look back and I, I thank them. And it's not an easy thing to do, but I genuinely am grateful for them because I'm like, wow, you taught me so much about myself. And also that situation was always a catalyst for some up level in my own life. And that's the way I want you to see the situation right now. You are hurt, you are confused, maybe you are feeling uncertain, but this situation, it is because you are changing energies in your life right now. Out with the old, in with the new. The universe is showing you just how powerful and wise you are from this situation and you can you always have two choices you can evolve or remain you can evolve in this victim mindset of this person hurt me they wounded me they left scars on me i'm never going to recover from this they have the power over me or you can choose to evolve and pour all your energy into you and be genuinely happy genuinely find the happiness happiness is an inside job okay this is a journey between you and you find what makes you happy what makes you tick what makes you excited Find it and pour all your energy and all your time into that. It is your moment to be a little bit fucking selfish, okay? I give you permission. Also, I think the connotation of selfish is such a different thing. It's like, what do you mean selfish? You mean self-absorbed? You mean I'm not generous, I'm not kind? That's not the type of selfish I'm telling you to be. I'm telling you to be selfish with your energy, selfish with your time, selfish with who you give your power to and access to. That is the best form of revenge is putting up those boundaries and honoring yourself and telling yourself, okay, I deserve to feel good. I deserve to feel happy. I deserve to feel joy. And so I'm going to do every single thing in my power to feel that. And one of the things that you need to do is let that person go. When you are seeking revenge on them, you're giving them power. You're strengthening the bond between you two, the connection. You need to let them go. You need to let them go so that you can feel lighter. That's something that my yoga teacher always says. I let this go right now so that I can feel lighter. This is also how the law of attachment works. The second, the second that you genuinely let go, the second that you genuinely don't care, the second that you do not give it power anymore, that's when the person, they start to feel it. They start to feel you pulling away. They start to feel you disconnecting. And that's when they'll start coming back, you know, around the corner, texting you, asking how you're doing, trying to like make their way back into your life. But be careful because you have leveled up. When you chose your happiness and you chose your joy, you have switched energies. You are in a higher place. You have leveled up. And so that person is trying to come back and catch up to you because they realize they have no power over you. So they're feeling helpless. They feel like they need to control you again. But you need to realize that when that person is coming back, when that situation is resurfacing, it's, I don't want to say it's a test because I don't believe that the universe tests you, but it's some form of opportunity for growth for you to see, okay, I've come a long way and I'm choosing myself again. And the best type of revenge is being able to stand in front of the person eye to eye and realize that they have no power over you. And you're going to start responding to, to them differently. And the second that you stop giving other people power over your emotions and how you feel about yourself is the second that your life will change. I am telling you, your entire life will change. I actually have goosebumps because this is something that I, I needed to hear honestly in my life too for a very long time. Is you give power to people to dictate how you feel. You are giving, you are powerless. You are helpless in life. You have to know that how you feel is completely up to you. How you respond is completely up to you. You can't control every single circumstance in your life, but you control your response. The best type of revenge in life by far is choosing you, choosing yourself above all else, prioritizing you, putting yourself first, putting yourself on this pedestal. Take off every single person that you have on a pedestal and put yourself up there with all your glory because you deserve to be up there and choose yourself. Because if you don't choose yourself, nobody's going to choose you. And so if you don't choose yourself, 
you're not going to allow other people to choose you too. You're putting out this energy of like, I'm not enough. I'm not worthy of goodness. I'm not worthy of love and life. I'm not worthy of abundance and joy. And so that's the energy that you put out into the world. And that's the response that you're going to get from life. If somebody hurts me. If somebody disrespects me, if somebody's not kind to me. If somebody, you know, is just not right for me and my energy anymore. I will look at the lesson. I will understand it. And then I will genuinely just become so selfish with my energy. I'm not going to let them run space in my head. Why should you? Why should you let that person run space in your head? Raise the rent and kick them out. You're giving that person so much power with your thoughts. And every single time that you think about how they hurt you, how they treated you, how you want to seek revenge on them, change. Literally hear yourself. Tell yourself in your head like, no, reboot. Stop. Just have one word that you tell yourself out loud when you're telling your conscious brain like this isn't going to work for me anymore because your subconscious mind is going to work overtime. It's going to bring up all those fears and limiting beliefs in the past because it's trying to protect you. But you can tell your conscious brain like, no, this isn't going to work for me anymore. I'm choosing a new path. I'm choosing to be happy. And that is the best revenge, guys. Choose to be happy. When you choose to be happy, things just change in your life and be happy without any expectations and without a reason. When you are happy for a reason, that happiness and that joy can be taken away from you. When you choose to be happy because you genuinely just are worthy of happiness in this lifetime, you become unstoppable.